All right. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's Kay. All right. So this is the 13th of September, 2022, on Tuesday. So thank you for joining on this live stream today. So today I will be screening some charts and see what's happening together. And also one important topic about psychology is, as the title says, focus on what you can fo control. Okay, because um, we can't control the markets, we can't control the market directions. So if it's impossible, then we better focus, we better not to focus on what we can control, which is the market direction in the future, but instead control what we can control. So let's let me switch the screen now and uh, let's check charts together. All right. Okay, again, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. So this is the 13th of September 2022. All right, I see many comments now. Thank you for joining everyone. Uh, TSM and uh, Winhert and Alex, thank you for joining. Yeah, today, yes, CPI and a uh, couple of other news. So markets are a bit spiky and tracing. So I have no trace today. So simply I will screen charts until the end of the live today. All right, Alex FX says, Cat JPY made new high, but now retracing back. Okay. Yeah, so let's check some CAD pairs and also Swiss franc pairs. Swiss franc pairs are also tra trading, uh, trending when I saw that a couple, of, a couple of hours ago. So let's check that one too. All right, Asif and Mahardika, good to see you. Thank you for joining. And Ashley, good to see you too. Rough market, right? Right, right. All right, some TZ, thank you for joining. And Luke, good to see you. All right, Homan and Flavio, thank you for joining too. Good to see you. So what will be the things what we can control is the first question I want to ask everyone. Yeah, as Alex FX says, we can't control the market. We can't control, we cannot right, control the directions in the market. So what kind of things can we control when we take trades? If you can uh, answer, please do on the comment, on the chat. Okay, let's see. In the meantime, let me check some other comments. Okay, Flavio says, Hi Kay, I would like to start trading, but I'm lost. Which brokers do you recommend? As for the brokers, I'm using XM, but um, you better research on your own region because um, the situations might be different. Because among the, uh, if depending on the regions, there might be some restrictions. So, in terms of which broker to use, I always recommend to do research on your own region and country, and uh, select the best one. But low spread, and also um, yeah, low spread, and withdraw, um, uh, deposit withdrawal should be smooth. Also, customer support should be also um, very good. Whenever you reach them out, they, you, bet, you better get some replies and answers from the customer support. That's also important. Okay, yeah, Blackwater, thank you for joining. Hussein, good to see you too, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Oh, I'm not Ichimoku Sanjin, please. <laughs> don't, don't please misunderstand. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. Then Zan says, you can control not to trade. Right, right. So let's discuss on that one first. Let me, yeah, like this. So, um, yes, Dan Zan says, you can control not to trade, right? So when not to trade, you can control. Also, when to trade, you can control too, right? Yeah, some cheesy says, trade, trade the uh, direction risk entry exit timings yeah so trade direction either buy or sell you can do you can choose the button and press so that you can control also risk entry risk management you can control too and entry exit you can control also yeah that is true 
JY says control emotions. Yeah, emotions you can control also, right? So that's one important. Emotions is controllable for us. Okay, and Alex FX says emotional state, exposure, risk, what pair you decide to trade, to trade or not to not to trade, right? Right, yeah, that's true. Okay, we can control the risk. Yeah, risk management and emotions are the only things we can control, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. All right, all right. Yeah, and uh, Dika says protecting our accounts we can control. Cut losses small. Yes, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so risk management we can control. Yeah. So let's check charts together and uh, check charts in this line in terms of what we can control and only focus on what we can control in today's live stream because that's how I see charts every time. All right, so now let me switch screen to trading view. Okay, so um, okay, so this is the Euro USD. Euro USD is resisted by the trend line and now it's going down. <clears throat> so in the long term, this is still bearish. Still bearish. The market was resisted by the trend line <clears throat> once, twice, three times and four times, five times, six times before, and this is the seventh time. So this is nicely going down. Okay, so today is bearish. I think the market goes down this way continuously. But um, I don't think the market will break the support to support this week. So this is a market to stay away and you don't want to control uh, that direction. I mean, you can't control that direction. So now I say this is this market has been resisted by the trend line, so I say that it may go down, but I don't say it will go down. So these wordings are also important. What words you can use is important too. You never say the market will go down. The correct way is to say is it may go down. But because it may break the resistance in the trend line and breaks Kumo and goes up also. So nothing is sure, nothing 100%. So never use these, you know, uh, solid like words like it will or um, yeah, it goes this way, that way. Never say like that. Okay, yeah, thanks for joining everyone. Good to see you. Yeah, Euro is weak today. So yeah, Euro AUD is, oh, Euro AD is in a range right now, no direction. Um, I was actually checking the USD CIS franc, uh, but now this is a bit of, it's retracing back now. Yeah, so no trend. And CAD CIS franc, I was also checking this. Daily is flat, daily is going down to the support. But I was checking the 4 hour because 4 hour is going down, it's below the Tenkan Sen. So I was looking to sell, but uh, this is still, it, it's retracing back. And now Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So it may retrace back to Kijun Sen. So no trades for me still. But um, so we can't control the direction. So now the, I say that this is downtrend. Because this is downtrend, you see uh, lower highs and lower lows below Tenkan Sen is downtrend. So it is downtrend, but it may not go down continuously. Right? It may be range, it may retrace, it may go down, we never know which way it goes. So that we don't control, we can't control. But um, as, as some of you mentioned, where you can trade, is what you can control. So now this is a time to stay away for me. Stay away, so that means I don't take trades. 
you know, trader's job is to take trades and make profits, but at the same time, I think not to trade is also part of the job that we have to do. You know, less is more in trades because the number of trades uh, doesn't really matter in terms of how much profits you make. So, uh, less is more, so be selective, be selective on which one to trade and more importantly, which one not to trade. So, yeah, CADC is frank, is downtrending still, but this is not the best time to sell. And Swiss franc JPY, I was looking to buy because it's up. You see, this one is Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, and Kumo shape is also looking great. Kumo is not too thin, it's becoming thicker and thicker, so that means this is stably uptrend. But uh, for the last, yeah, one half hour, it retraced back. But four hours up, and one hour is now flat. Okay, and what I see here is this is inside bar, inside, in between uh, 150.50 one and 148.83 uh, or 84. It's, this is called inside bar engulfing in a uh, one hour time frame. So when you see engulfing inside bar like this, um, you can't really tell which way the market goes. In the short term, for the last uh, 1 and 15 minutes, the market was down, but um, it may go up in the short term, or down, or range. We can't really tell. So this is another example of where we have to stay away. So I will come back once the market breaks the resistance of 150.50, and then look for the buying edge. But right now, I will simply stay away from this one. So that's the Swiss franc JPY. Yep. Okay, and um, some other charts. Let's see, I think uh, some JPY pairs. Let, let's review some JPY pairs. So Euro JPY, um, now Kumo Senko Span B flat and Kijun Sen flat, so the market may stop uptrend. It broke the resistance of 144.24 uh, yesterday, but today is doji and no direction. So in the long term, I think it goes up, but um, it may retrace back. It may retrace back to Tenkan Sen or the previous uh, resistance on 142.31 and then it goes up. So this is not the best timing for me to buy yet. This is near the re near the resistance. So and we have Doji today so far. So the market may reverse. Right. So and Euro pound is also Euro pound reached up to the resistance yesterday, but now it's range. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen also flat. So the market may reverse. So looks like uh, the markets are not really trending in higher time frames. So in this kind of day, I will simply stay away. But uh, again, the topic about the today is uh, the things what we can control. So yeah, whether you take a trade or not, you can control. Also, um, yeah, the stop loss. Or to put a stop loss, you can control, right? And the uh, lot size, the position size, you can control. Also, um, the timing for the break even, timing to trail the profits, and exit timing are also controllable. So, in other words, that the only thing that we can con we cannot control is the direction of the future markets, but the rest we can control, but uh, we tend to focus on a future direction and uh, uh, let's say like prediction in the future we want to have, but uh, because that's uncontrollable, we better focus 
something that we can control. Okay, so here is a USDJPY. USDJPY is still bullish, I think. Tenkan Sen angle is up, and the market was supported by the Tenkan Sen. So, looks like it breaks the resistance of 145.02. And the um, four-hour chart shows that this is this is bullish. Four-hour shows the market was supported by the Kumo, and Chikou span is exactly tracing the candles. So this is now bullish. Yeah, and there was a W bottom here, neckline breakout. This neckline, sorry, this neckline was actually the previous supports. So. The scenario will be the market retrace back to the previous resistance and support, 143.52, and then goes up this way. So that will be an inverse head and shoulders, and then it goes up. This scenario might be possible. So yeah, overall looks to be bullish. And there was a big news actually today on this. Um, yeah, today's uh, 13th. We had this, uh, yeah, in the UK, also in the Euro, there was CPI. And then in the US, there was a CPI. So um, the result of the news in the US was positive. It was uh, the previous was 0 0.3, and the consensus was also 0 0.3. Turned out that it was 0 0.6 percent, so it was positive result. And if you look at the strength chart, hold on, let me just refresh, because if you want to see how the news impacted the market, the best way to see is by the strength chart. So because of the USD it was positive turnout, you see the yellow USD went up very much, and then New Zealand went down very much. The rest of the pairs, the rest of the currencies are still in the sideways. So that means uh, USD was the only thing that was affected the market. So USD is bullish, so that means XAUSD is going down. And BTC USD is also going down because of this news. Yeah, and USDJPY went up by the strong USD uh, after the news. So now looks like this is still bullish. Right, it's bullish. And uh, GBPJPY once went up, broke the resistance, but then it came back in the range. And right now, Kumo is up, but Kijun Sen flat. So, yeah, and this is now inside bar. So, um, the market may range until it breaks the resistance. So, and this is a four hour. So, most likely, I will stay away from the pound JPY this week. When I see this big bar, big um, candlestick with the long, long uh, wicks up and down. The market usually ranges afterwards, so I usually stay away from this. And um, ADJPY is bullish still, but um, as a result of that uh, big news, the previous candle was doji, and this is engulfing now, so this is stay away. I will stay away from this. The market may range uh, for a couple more hours or days. Okay, so yeah, and let me quickly check the gold and Bitcoin. So here is XAUUSD. At the news, it went down and broke the support. And then it's range now. Overall, it's range. So uh, XAUUSD is, th there is no trend on this one. And uh, here is the BTC USD 4 hour. It was sold very much. Uh, because of the strong USD, it got sold very much. Okay. As for the daily chart, it's a bit bullish still. 
but um, yeah, overall, I th yeah, it, it actually broke the previous resistance and it went down very sharply. So this may be downtrend still. It may go down. Okay, uh, let's see. Toy Lounge says, do you have a video about your scalping strategy? If not, can you show us the strategy? Uh, no, because I don't scalp, so I don't have the scalping strategy. I only trade from the day to swing trade. And I don't do scalping anymore. I used to do when I was a newbie, but now I'm only day to swing trade. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, thanks for joining everyone. Okay, uh, how your opinion on indices? All right, so let me check. Let's check the US index. Okay, so Dow Jones went down very much. Yeah, I think it was due to news, it went down today. So now this is still within the range, I would say. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. The market was exactly resisted by the by the daily Kumo and it went backwards. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Nasdaq is also the similar case. It went up to the Kijun Sen and then it went down uh, within the Kumo now. And S&P also it went up above the ten, above the Kijun Sen, but then it, it got sold and it's going into Kumo. So this is not this is overall is uptrend because you see the it has been a uh, N wave bullish here. It was bearish N wave, but then there was a trend line and there was a one once twice and three times bounce. So looks like still bullish. And the, today is bearish, but overall looks to be bullish still. Yeah, but this is not a good timing to buy if you are thinking to buy because it, this chart pattern is not so beautiful. Um, there are two supports here. Let me just precise. If I just connect these, these uh, supports, it will be more like, more of like this. So there was an overshoot on uh, 6th and, and 7th September. So the market is going down, but it may be supported by the trend line and it goes up this way still. But yeah, again, this is not a beautiful chart to trade. Yeah, looks like this is very tricky. So yeah, if you want to trade, then uh, you better take a lower risk per trade or simply stay away. Okay, uh, Gerald says, did you trade on retracement in the past? Pound USD, I made a retracement trade with a high lot size, but uh, made a stop loss too, too much tight. So I lost a 1600, otherwise it went up to Fibonacci level as I've expected. Oh yeah, so I have yes traded the, with the retracement in the past yes, because retracement strategy is uh, very uh, effective, especially when the market's ranging like this way, because when it's a range, Kijun Sen shows the mid price of the range. So yeah, pound USD, I was actually watching it uh, because it when it was going up to the Kijun Sen, but again. This one I posted today because, um, hold on, let me see, pound USD, just like I posted on my TradingView account today, here I was, I was mentioning that the um, market is retracing to the daily Kijun Sen. So this is a retracement back to Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen, when it's flat, the market tends to go back to Kijun Sen. But then in this case, there are two supports on 1.1760, like I mentioned here. So, um, yeah, so the market will be either it breaks the supports and go back to Kijun Sen, or it will be resisted by the previous supports 
and go down. And by the news, the resistance happened. So if you look at the chart pattern, if you look at these previous two supports, then uh, you could also expect the retracement from here on this. So this is the Kijun Sen retracement uh, strategy. In this case, it didn't happen today, but uh, it may happen sometime this week or next week. I think the market still goes up to Kijun Sen because it's flat. So we'll see. But, but uh, hold on. Tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah, but then tomorrow, Kijun Sen. Oh, sorry. The day after tomorrow, Kijun Sen will point down. And Senko Span A will also point down. So downtrend may be continuous still. Yeah, but right now, you have to also check the previous supports, is a lesson in this case. In terms of a Kijun Sen retracement strategy or market analysis, I'm thinking to share in the Ichimoku community today after this public live stream. So, in this public, let me just screen chart the other charts and uh, check some other conditions. Yeah, so pound JPY again, it broke the resistance yesterday and then today is retracing. So, not a beautiful uptrend. Also, Kumo is very small on a daily time frame, right? So when you see the Kumo, thin Kumo, small Kumo like this, it tends to retrace. So, yeah, pound JPY is not yet a good timing to buy because of that reason, because of that potential retracement. So let me check some of the charts now. All right, Tony Gold. Thanks for joining, you're welcome. All right, TSM, you're welcome too. All right, Oleg says, uh, Good evening, dear K and traders. Absolutely fantastic move today on CPI. Would you be so kind to share your opinion regarding NASDAQ? Yeah, NASDAQ, uh, I actually covered that also. But uh, yeah, today is bearish. It got sold like 3.7%, which is very big. Um, yeah, so yeah, this um, this is a daily time frame, and Nasdaq I think it broke the trend line. Yeah, more than more than Dow Jones. Dow Jones is still very close at the support, but Nasdaq is was a bit a bit bearish than uh, than Dow Jones. <clears throat> so downtrend may be continuous. Yeah, Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat, and the market retraced back to Kijun Sen today, and then it's going down. So yeah, I think the market goes down continuously. Yeah, and here is the S&P. Yeah, S&P also was uh, very close to to the trend line. And be supported and it went up. Just like Dow Jones, it was very close. But Nasdaq was not close. If you connect these uh, two supports, and Nasdaq was overshooted more than Dow Jones and SP. So I would say Nasdaq is the most bearish market. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thanks for joining everyone. Good to see you here. Okay, with retracement, I mean if market jumps very strong in any direction and if stops, it usually retrace back. Yeah, that's true. That's a tendency, right? That's a tendency in the markets. I caught the downtrend just now, take back my losses in capital. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you, Gabby. Good to see you here. Okay, so. Yeah, so let's check uh, AUD pairs. I was also checking the AUD JPY because it's bullish continuously, but today is retracing. But I think AUD JPY is still bullish continuously. It broke the resistance nicely on uh, 96.87 and continuously going up. 
So, yeah, as for the AUDJPY, the target is going to be, let me see, where will be the target? Um, okay, I will check the weekly. Okay, there are some resistances on the weekly, but which was always up, all the way up here. So 102.83. So that's a big room still. So that means there is no big resistances up until that level. So of course there might be some pushbacks and pullbacks along the way, but I think overall would be bullish still up to that level. Okay, Sai so says, will gold go up today? Right at right time to buy. Uh, gold, let's see. Um, this is a weekly time frame. Gold is bearish because it's below the Tenkan Sen. So I don't think this will go up anytime soon. This is bearish. It may break support. To me, this is downtrend still on the weekly time frame. As for the daily time frame, this is uh, now flat range, but Kumo looks a bit bearish. Kumo is going down bearish. Kijun Sen flat. The price is now below the Tenkan Sen, so this is bearish. Yeah, so I don't think the, ma the gold will go up from here, but rather it may break support of 1682.17. So I'm waiting for the breakout of the support and sell. Yeah, so we will see if the USD uh, continue to be strong, then gold will keep going down still along the way. Okay, John Harris says, would you confirm, how would you confirm when Kumo is in uh, ideal angle with end direction? Uh, how? By simply looking at the Kumo shape. If the Kumo is too thin, then the market may retrace, so I will usually stay away. The Kumo should be thick enough and long enough to, to be a stable trend. Daryl says, I have lost many win opportunity for being greedy. There are, maybe, uh, there are many entries I could simply close and gain a couple hundred dollars, but there are no reasons to close because all direction indicators are in my direction. Yeah, so in that case, you don't have to close. Yeah, if you see, if you don't see exit timings, then simply keep holding because that's what I what I do also. But when the market starts to retrace, then I exit. So I think for you, uh, Gerald, I think you better uh, revise your exit timing. Maybe the exit timing is a bit too late, or maybe the risk per trade will be too big. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Okay, Forex, USCCAD. Um, USCCAD uh, is still range. Uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so it's range in no direction. So I simply wait for the breakout of the resistance, 1.3225. Because it's range, so it may retrace. It may retrace back. This is also the power of the Kumo. At a glance, you know whether this is range or up or down trend. Okay, so and then uh, let's see, 4 hour time frame shows that this is in the Kumo, right? It's in the Kumo, so this is not the best timing to trade either. Whenever you see the price in the Kumo, that means that it spikes, right, it spikes. So, um, not really a good timing to buy or sell. Yep. Okay, Rudy says, how much percent do you get each month on average? Uh, you can actually come to the GTS webpage here. Go, come to my webpage and um, hover over on services and click on the GTS. Then you get my monthly performance in this webpage. But uh, in the last last year, 2021, my average 
profit was 11% uh, every month. So it's a performance. 11%, 11 or 13% uh, every month in average is my performance. Okay. All right. Uh, Ethereum. Okay. Ethereum, let me see. Ethereum daily time frame. Okay. So because of the strong USD, it got sold also. Let me see. Let me just clean the chart. So Ethereum is in the Kumo on the daily, so no direction. We can't tell which way the market is going. And the 4 hour is, okay, 4 hour read back to Kumo. So the market may, or I mean, yeah, it didn't break the Kumo yet because it doesn't close yet. So yeah, um, 4 hour, there was a, yeah, almost like um, head and shoulders, neckline breakout happens. But overall, looks to be range. This is not uptrend or downtrend, it's range. So after this, it may range also. So I can't tell the direction of the Ethereum right now. <clears throat> okay, Gerald says, you said in the past always it's difficult to decide exit timing. I never understand why. Now I understand. It's need to, it needed, uh, sorry, it's indeed more difficult than the entries. Yeah, that is right, that is right. Yes, for the entries, because you're not losing yet, it's easy to execute. But for the exits, it's hard because there is emotion attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Gerald says, I pushed my stop loss line, maybe too early to break even. Last week's, the trends were very short living. They retrace back, don't last long. That's right, that's right, yeah. But um, the break-even timing should be, shouldn't be too early, but should be too late. Yeah, it has to be at the right timing for the break-even because I used to use, I used to set the break-evens too early timing. Like as soon as I see some pips, like 10 pips moving towards my direction, then I move the stop loss to break-even and I got too many break-even trades and I wasn't able to make big profits. So make sure you don't move the break even too early timing. Okay, so looks like uh, Ethereum 4 hour is breaking the Kumo down now. So it may go down to the support. In that case, it may go down to support of 1489.6. That is possible. Okay, um, Jay says WTI and Brent may be setting up for a set off on weekly and daily. Okay, let me check the WTI after the big news in the US. Let's see how it affected the WTI. Okay, so daily time frame WTI is still bearish. Yeah, because the price is below the Kijun Sen. Um, yeah. So Kumo is down, Senko span A is pointing down, and Chikou span is below the candles. So that means this is bearish. Yeah, it's bearish. So if you look at the history of the WTI, the market has been on the reverse in the waves consecutively, down up until here, until the 17th of August. But after 18th of August, the market went up and made an in wave, bullish. And the breakout of the resistances happened on the 29th of August. So when I saw this candlestick, I thought the market may range or up into Kumo. But then it went down to the support and then broke the support on the 7th of September. And now it's going up. To the, to the Kijun Sen. So this is also one of the Kijun Sen strategies. Kijun Sen retracement strategy. 
So now Kijun Sen retracement of a field, so then the market may go down afterwards. It's just like just like these timings. The market come closer to Kijun Sen and then breaks the support. Come, come closer to Kijun Sen and then breaks support. This one it broke the Kijun Sen and also end wave. That's why I thought that the market goes up to Kumo, but then it went down below Kijun Sen again and then retrace back. So based on the patterns in the past, this time most likely it will be resisted and it goes down. Yeah. Okay, so that's my finding on the WTI. Okay, Oleg and TSM, you're welcome. Thank you so much here for joining. Um, let's see. Faixion says, uh, are there any other good indicators to avoid whipsaws and fakeouts? Um, based on my understanding, no. There is no indicators that, they can, that can detect the whipsaws and the fakeouts beforehand. But uh, um, in order to avoid these fakeouts and fake breakouts and whipsaws, the risk management is a key. Yeah, you can avoid these fake outs by the risk management. Yeah, so exit timing. Exit earlier timing when you start to see the fake out is the way to avoid the fakes. Not by the indicators, in my opinion. Okay, JY says please check uh, AUDC's Frank. Alright. Let me see. AUDC's Frank. Is uh, okay. It's near the support, but uh, this time I don't think the market breaks because of the Kumo is too small. Kumo just twisted bearish, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are just about below the Kumo, so that means the market is not really downtrending. I mean, this is downtrend in short term, but um, the sellers are not really here yet because of this Kumo shape and location of the Kijun Sen, so my view is it may range here near the support or retrace back to Kijun Sen. But again, if the market breaks, that means if the daily candlestick closes below the support of 0 0.6510, then I come back and look for the selling edge. But for now, I'm not I'm not gonna go in before the break because of that Kumo shape and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen situations. Okay, yeah, so that's my findings. So, but looks like uh, the markets are a bit ranging now or retracing after the news in the U.S. So I guess today is a time to stay away. And come back tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow we have, I think, about news. Wednesday we have a CPI in the UK. Also, uh, EC, President, speech in the Euro. So we have two big news. And Thursday, on the 15th, we have uh, employment change in, uh, in AU Australia and uh, retail sales in the US. So yeah, so better to stay away before the big news like this. Yeah, Rich says, that's awesome. That means we can pass the funding challenge if we done correctly with their strategy. Yeah, sure it's possible. It's possible because to pass the challenge, to pass the funding challenge like FTMO, you have to be better at the risk management. Otherwise, you never pass. Yeah, also I think the timing is important. Timing to start challenge is important. Yeah, better to start challenge when you see the big trends in the markets. Yeah, Faision, you're welcome. 
Lim says, uh, sir, the Kumo on USD CAD one hour become a line. So that's what idea given to us. Okay, USD CAD one hour Kumo. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, so USD CAD one hour Kumo thing like this. This means the market is overbought. So it, it can retrace back anytime soon. So better to stay away. You, you can't buy here. It broke the Kumo nicely, but um, the market can retrace back anytime. Uh, let's see, four hours shows the prices into Kumo. That means it may spike. And there were previous, previous support level here. So, so yeah, the market may reverse. And then, push back and goes. Yeah. Day time frame also shows its range. So, no trade. Yeah, one hour Kumo is very thin because Senko Span A, B are together right now. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are also together because of this strong spike. Yeah, 30 minute is also showing thin Kumo. So yeah. Yeah, the market retrace market may retrace anytime soon. In this case. Hossein says why being patient in a loss is easier than being patient in a profitable trade. <laughs> oh that's a psychology, another psychology, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I think we are rushed to make profits, and that's why. Uh, and you don't want to you don't want to lose the running profits. If the market retraces, then you will lose these running profits, and that might be another reason why it's difficult to be patient in a profitable trade. So, the exit timing is much more important than the entries with this reason. Yeah, exit in a loss is difficult. Exit in a profit is also difficult, psychologically speaking. And in my opinion, exits are connected to the risk management. Exits are the part of the risk management, I think. So, and but entries are not the risk management. Entries, you calculate the lot size in stop loss, but uh, entries are not so much related to the risk management, but exit timing is. All right, so for now, I will stop the live stream. And uh, yeah, I will take uh, some rest. And then um, come back to the membership live stream. Wow, this is too bright. Hold on, let me turn this off. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think, uh, yeah, but uh, I think this is, the market has been quite uh, rough still in the month of September. I got some nice pips on the USJPY last week, and I will share it with you towards the end of the September when I do the performance review. But um, still, the market are rough because of these news, because of what's happening in the world. So I think we should really be selective on which one to trade and which one not to trade. And always remember to focus on the things that you can control and never focus and never practice on the things that you cannot control. All right, everyone, so thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. So until I see you again, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane, thanks so much.